I've seen this winter um, and, and in the last fall, people reached out and made a decision uh, on our campus to try and do something nice for all our students and faculty and staff. And, and a little, it's a little thing, but it meant something to me. Um, they poured pads, concrete pads, out on the oval and on the south oval, and they're putting in picnic tables. Now, I didn't do this. A group of, of our leaders came together and said, that would really be a nice thing to do for all of our students, faculty, and staff. And uh, the picnic tables come in in April, and then instead of just laying in the grass out there, which is a really wonderful thing to do on a spring day, um, folks can sit and uh, study and, and talk together. And um, I thought that was really a nice act of thoughtfulness um, by our team for the rest of campus. And I think that's what it's all about, is trying to be thoughtful about other people. Actually, just last night I got home and I had a really nice card from a former colleague who had retired just telling me how she thought of our work relationship often and how I was an important person to her when she was here. It just made my day and I thought it was really thoughtful and just showed a lot of kindness. You know, for me, it's, it's the little things. It's, again, so somebody saying, how are you doing today? You know, can I, can I give you a hand? Um, you did a great job. It's just kind of little gestures for me. And uh, fortunately, I, you know, I work with a lot of people who, who you know, aren't afraid to provide, provide a compliment or say, just, again, just say thanks. I've experienced kindness a lot uh, in my life. I think um, it happens daily in little ways. Um, you know, people letting you in when you're trying to turn, make a left turn somewhere um, and they're, they smile and they wave and um, it, it changes the way that you, you know, the rest of your day goes or at least for a while and, you know, in big ways, right? Um, supporting you and taking on a new challenge. I think all of those types of activities really kind of make kindness real to us every day that, you know, we're here at work on, and on campus. Uh, my wife and I had taken our daughter to Easton at Christmas time and promised her a carriage ride and we waited in a long line in the cold only to get to the front of the line and find out that it was cash only. And the lady in front of us heard us talking about how we were going to get cash and turned around and handed us cash for the carriage ride. When my wife was going through a number of surgeries a number of years ago, which, which had kind of longer recovery times. Uh, people would drop off meals to our house for weeks on end. And for each individual person, that wasn't a big deal, but it was a really tangible uh, way of showing kindness to us. And in the aggregate, it was kind of a really good way to show us support during that time. So a time I've experienced kindness is watching my children take part in service projects in the community with a, an organization called Seeds of Caring. And they've learned what it means to be kind in the world by serving others. Walking across campus, construction like we always have going on and I saw ahead of me a blind person trying to navigate through temporary paths around a construction zone and they were struggling a little bit this landscaper one of our landscape members walked over said something and took the individual by the arm and helped walk them through that and I thought that was really simple really stayed stayed with me through these years